we are doing a pretty large Dollar Tree haul. Yes, those are water squirters hanging out of my bag today. And I'm also announcing the winners of the Haba puzzle giveaway from uh, a couple Fridays ago. Hey, hey, you guys, it's Christina from The Purple Alphabet. Thanks for joining me today for my Dollar Tree haul. But before we get into the haul, make sure you click subscribe so you can catch up on all the videos I've been doing here on my channel, plus even more giveaways coming up later this week. And I wanted to announce our giveaway winner from a couple of Fridays ago for the Haba Seasons Puzzle. It was a really cool wooden puzzle that you could layer inside the puzzle all the different seasons of the year. My kids are really loving it. So if you see your name here on the screen, you have one. You have 72 hours to respond to the email I sent you to claim your prize. Congratulations. If you didn't win today, don't worry. I have another giveaway coming up from Learning Resources later this week, and you're not going to want to miss out on that one. So let's get into our haul. So this is a collective haul, which means I went to several different Dollar Trees, I think four in total, and I can't remember where I got which things. So um, some things weren't at the other stores, and that's just the way it is at Dollar Tree for some reason. I'll start off with these summer items. All of the new summer things are coming out. They bring out chalk for springtime and, and all kinds of sand buckets and that kind of thing. These water skirters they had last year, I did not get them, and I kind of regret that. So we're gonna see if they work for the pool that we go to. I had two, and they have all different kinds of colors they even have smaller ones so these are the large ones I'd say they're about a yard long um, but you can get them in the smaller size too even more oversized items here that won't fit on my screen these were out in full force as part of the spring fling so they are little yard pinwheel flowers I have them the rainbow one here and then they also had different colored ones I saw polka dots and red and just all green all different kinds of style and they just have a little spiky thing here that you can put it into your yard Let's move on to toys, these glider planes. I think I've seen these at Dollar Tree before. However, my girls have been getting really into paper airplanes, so I thought that these might be fun to try. They seemed really easy to put together. It says amazing loops. So this will probably be any toy test that I have coming up, and I'll let you know if, if it um, was a success. If you've tried these, let me know down below in the comments and let me know your experience. Uh, but they're made out of styrofoam, and they're just three pieces, and you put them together, and you're, you're set to fly. I was inspired to buy these from Clara Slate who hauled them recently as well. They are cones for playing. Um, they come two to a pack, which I think is pretty cool. They seem pretty durable. I wouldn't say that they're going to last forever, <laughs> but they're going to be used for obstacle courses inside my house. And then maybe we'll take them outside and use them there too. Bunny tails. I mean, seriously. <laughs> So there's a little clip on here, kind of like a barrette, and it is a bunny tail that you could put on the back of your pants or in your belt loop. So it's just one of those things that is just makes no sense to buy. But I bought it anyway, and they're round fluffy bunny tails. Easter themed self stampers. There's 10 in here, but they are duplicates on each row. So it's great for a party favor Easter basket. Or in my case, since I have two girls, I can split them up and they would each have four to play with. Tic-tac-toe games are back. I have the one from Christmas and now we have the one for Easter because the one for Christmas I actually packed up and put away with all of the Christmas decorations. We're really into tic-tac-toe. It's a perfect preschool beginner strategy game. So if you haven't tried it, you might want to. There was also a bunny one, but we just have the little duck. Slingshot Rabbit is a, another Easter find. Um, someone on my Instagram, because I posted it over there first, said that they had a hard time with this. So I think I'll try this in the toy test as well to see if we can get it working working before Easter so I can let you know. Um, two little bunnies in here and you put them in the slingshot to fling them across the room. If you've tried it, let me know your experience and then I'll also put this in the Dollar Tree toy test I have coming up. So I did a live stream and in that live stream, I found all of these Easter eggs and thanks to you guys, I walked home with a couple of them. You guys were telling me that I should definitely get the white bunnies and then while I was there, I got to the cars. I am just a sucker. So these are gonna be filled with candy. I I also have a video, an older video, about what to do with these plastic eggs, the plain ones, so from last year. Go back and watch that if you want some ideas on how to make them into activities for your kids. These over here are pre-filled Paw Patrol. I also saw Frozen, and inside there's just little kind of candies inside already. I normally use your traditional plastic eggs that are plain colored, and then I did buy some from the Target Dollar Spot, so we're kind of blinging out our Easter egg baskets this year. And of course, I got all of my Easter basket candy so i am officially done after this haul that i'm showing you now these are eggs pre-filled as well um the finding dory ones they have candy fish 
and then the Disney Frozen one have candy snowflakes and there were a couple others themes in there too. Can't go without Skittles and these have a bunny topper on them. At Target, these are a little bit more expensive than you would expect. They used to be really cheap, but I didn't check Walmart. This is the Palmer Chocolate Double Crisp Easter Eggs. They're individually wrapped, so those can go in the little um, bunny eggs I bought. The Haribo Happy Hoppers Gummy Bears. My kids are sorry, gummy rabbits. My kids are really into the gummies right now. And of course we got some jelly beans, which I'll probably take out of the containers and put into the Easter eggs. And then I have some sour ones from Lemonhead, chewy Lemonheads. So both of these I've tried before and they're really good. And then we have a chocolate bunny. It's a solid chocolate bunny. And this one's going to my older daughter. So we are set on candy. <laughs> In fact, I probably overdid the candy, but I have a feeling that the adults might eat some too. A few learning items were purchased too. I have a feeling that I have one of these already, but I couldn't remember which one, but that's okay because I have another child that could use it if I do have duplicates. But these are reproducibles. You can make copies of them. This one's for K through one and this one is for two to three, and they are practicing sight words. And I wasn't sure, because it doesn't tell you anywhere on the back which sight words are in the pack. So I just went ahead and got the both of them, so that way I can just check them out and see, and pull out the ones that we are currently working on. Here's another purchase that I didn't intend to buy until I <laughs> did an Instagram live stream, and you guys kind of egged me on to look behind something because I found them. So these are um, continents, and they have labels with them too. So I can use this as a matching game. I can put them down and pull out my tubes and place the right um, items, like the right animals that go on each continent. They have new wheels right now. If you um, got the ones before, which were a butterfly and I believe a space one. Um, I didn't get those because I had them in other ways, but if you saw my live stream, I pulled these out and showed you. The first one is the color wheel. So it talks about the types of different colors. And then on the wheel over here, it shows the relationship to them. This one I'm gonna store away until um, we are a little bit older. So this one's gonna go, I have a big box where I put things away for later. And this one is pretty darn cool. It's all about weather and clouds. And you can put this up to the sky and you can spin it around and see all the different types of clouds all the way around the wheel. And then it also tells you the precipitation amount that is possible with that type of cloud on the bottom. They also had another one that I believe was the life cycle of a frog or a butterfly. Oh, I can't remember, but there's another one out there that I didn't get. A couple of new workbooks, the school zone, which you all know what I love, has a couple of really thick activity books out. These are perfect for restaurants. Um, and all different kinds of things that you can do. Have a Paw Patrol coloring book, and it has different activities in it too. And Daniel Tiger has come to Dollar Tree Jumbo, Jumbo coloring activity book. So not just coloring, but other things to do in there as well. So for a spring or summer project, we are going to do little fairy gardens. So I found these little houses for the fairies to live in. And then of course you have to have the fairies. So they have these three packs of fairies. However, I only found these in one store and it was very minimal. So I have a feeling a lot of these are already gone. Um, we have some animals here and some mushrooms to place into those gardens. The paint jobs on these aren't the best because I think that they are probably seconds from wherever they originally sold. So just be aware that they aren't the, the highest quality of fairy garden materials, <laughs> but they are certainly really cool for the, for the price that you pay. I think these have been around Dollar Tree for a while. They are the design your own mugs. So I thought these would be very cute to do their pictures, put them in and they can have their own personalized cup. It has a little flip top here. So you can close it like that. And then you just screw off the lid to put your picture in. Got some more binder clips to use with glitter glue. If you saw my Instagram, you could use these to hold the ends of glitter glue tubes. So the glue comes right out. So it's very useful. Here's another Clara Slate find with a little grabber here on the other side and you hit the handle and you can grab things. Already pulled something behind a piece of furniture so it's come in handy. I have something I think behind my um, washing machine that this could be used for. And I finally found some of the Bolero stuff and there wasn't very much of it left. Uh, I have two packs of the facial wipes, lavender and chamomile and lemon vervena and mint. And then I did see two of the body washes, so we'll try those as well. I saw these featured on Claire Slates and then some Soft Whisper. 
couple of new nail items, Wet n Wild Glitter Nail Polish, uh, little decals that go on nails. These are nail stickers, and then these are kind of like 3D nail decor elements. We're going to see how those do on my five-year-old. And there are lots of socks to be found. I have three packs. I guess those are cats or sheep, who knows? Some stripes in purple, some bears, some stripes in pink and then the same in the smaller sizes, and then some of the ruffle socks for Easter. If you've tried any of these Dollar Tree products, let me know down below in the comments. Make sure to click subscribe to see more videos like this and to give me a thumbs up to show your love.